You are knowing what you are wanting? Are you enjoying the expansion of your desire? Yes, yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> Do I love contrast? Oh, give me all of it that I can stand. <sighs> you like focusing? That's really what your thought process is about, isn't it? It's the focusing of energy, which is really the molding of the creative clay, yes? <sighs> the variety that surrounds you is what helps you to determine your personal preferences. Do you think there is value in your personal preferences? Do you think it matters what you think? And do you think that as the variety surrounds you, that what you think comes into focus because of the variety? In other words, could you come to any clear personal conclusions about what you prefer could you make a decision if there weren't choices? And can you tell by the way you feel which choices appeal to you most? And do you know why you have a feeling response? Do you know why some things feel like a good idea and some things feel like not such a good idea? Do you know why red flags go up when you hear certain people say certain things? Or do you know why you feel uneasy when you come across some thoughts while you feel open and exhilarated when you come across others? Do you understand why? Why you have these feeling responses? It's all part of your awareness of how you're molding the clay, but do you understand what the emotional process, what is that guidance? It is guidance. What's that guidance that emotions are giving to you? What's it all about? What's being compared to what? Why do some things feel not good and some things feel good? Is it simply because your selfish nature is being satisfied with some and you're being put out with others? That's not it. How does anyone make a decision about anything? We don't know. We're going home. <laughs> well, the reason that we start here in this sort of strong, quizzical place is because we think it is of value for you. And the sooner you get to this place of understanding what your guidance system is about, then the more effectively you can use your guidance system, yes? You are more than you see here in these physical bodies. But what you see here matters. It's important. It's important to you, and it's important to all of us. Because you are the leading edge of creation. Most of you are too modest to accept that. Most of you, in your not getting precisely what you're wanting, or in your sometimes not feeling so good, make an assumption that is not accurate. You assume that there is something much more important than you moving around in the universe that you are striving to accomplish, but that's not true. You are leading-edge creators, and what's surrounding you and causing you to come to personal conclusions is a big deal. It matters a lot. It's why you come forth. It's why you are willing to focus consciousness into this time-space reality. And we always like to add the words leading-edge time-space reality. And the reason that we want you to feel appreciation for your part in this leading-edge creation is because you are out here exploring variety and coming to personal conclusions and weighing, whether you know that you're doing it or not, whether it's happening consciously or unconsciously, you are weighing this new decision that you have come to against the for sure solid source-based conclusions that you've come to before. It's like moving forward and finding a basis or a platform that is accurate, that is law-based, that works, that is love-based and then evaluating the new things that come to you against that standard. So you were source energy before you came into this physical body, and the larger part of you still is. Well, what does that mean to me, Abraham? So I was source, but I am this, and what I am now is all that I know. So why do you bother to tell me what I was when what I am is all that I know? Well, we tell you because you can feel what you am in relationship to what you were, are, from a source energy standpoint, 
By the way, your emotions feel to you because your emotions are your indication of your blend or resistance, of your agreement or your disagreement. So in simple terms, from non-physical perspective, that larger part of you who still vibrates and beams to you and knows you and holds the vibrational core of you, that part of you is pure love. Now we hesitate a little bit to use the word love because most humans don't have a clue what love is. For most people, love is something they want that they don't have enough of. So it's an absent-based sort of thing. But love meaning well-being, security, appreciation. The source of you is pure love. So when you hold someone or something, a concept or a person or an experience, when you hold it in your physical format as your object of attention, you're getting immediate vibrational, which you translate as emotional, feedback about what your perspective is in relationship with the perspective that you've been garnering over all of your existence. Your perspective of all that you've come to. And we want you to know that perspective that we're talking about there just happened again just now because when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. You send a rocket off about what you prefer. When you're sick, you want more wellness. When you're confused, you want more clarity. When you don't have enough money, you want more money. When you feel financially behind, you want to be financially ahead. In other words, this contrast in which you are living is causing you to send these vibrational rockets of desires all day, every day. But it's not only a rocket of desire. It's a rocket of becoming. It's a rocket of evolution. It's a rocket of expansion. It's the larger part of you expanding to this new place. And as that larger part of you expands to that new place, you have an emotional feedback that's letting you know right here, right now, based upon what you're thinking, what you're giving your attention to, what's activated within you. What is the activation of me right now in my physical body in relationship to the huge activation of who I am, the whole activation of who I am, the ongoing activation of who I am, the source energy activation of who I am, the God force activation of who I am, the true me and who I have become through all that I've lived I was it before I came into this body, but it became more as a result of me being in that body, that leading edge, furthest, most expanded version of source energy me. I'm getting feedback right here, right now. So when I focus upon something and I say, I really don't like that, in my awareness that I don't like it, I am sending a rocket of what I do like, and that rocket is received by the larger part of me. Some time ago, we wrote a book best title ever given to a book, Ask and It Is Given, because it speaks so clearly to how it works for you. When life causes you to know what you don't want, it causes you to ask for what you do want. And when you ask, it's given. It's given in its vibrational fullness. And you have emotional feedback that lets you know it has been given. And if you're feeling positive emotion in the moment, then it means to you it has been given and you're up to speed with it and the manifestation of it is soon on the hills. But if it has been given, and it has, and you're feeling negative emotion about it, that means it has been given, but you are for now based upon your pattern of thought, based upon your habit of thought, based upon the beliefs that you have worked so hard to maintain and hold. That feeling that you hold means that it's been given, but you're not letting it in. You're not letting yourself be the vibrational match to it. So negative emotion, in very clear terms, I'll give you a quotable quote here, is awareness of self-deprivation. This negative emotion that I feel right now is my indicator that I'm depriving myself of something important to me. The reason it's important is because I've become more. I've become more. I have become more and I'm depriving myself of it. Now, in complete fairness and disclosure to you, our leading edge friends, if you were not willing to expose yourself to situations where the contrast becomes vivid, you would not send those rockets and we would not have the expansion that we all enjoy as a result of what you're carving out. So if we can just convince you that we are all in this together and that as you explore 
that the knowing what you don't want is as important a part of the process as are then knowing what you do want. And that as we work together in a team-like fashion, with you carving it out and us knowing what matters and staying true to the vibration of the discretion that you have honed, as we become completely focused upon your expanded part, your expanded part, your newest idea, your newest conclusion. The evolution of all species is about exactly this. As we hold true to that, meaning we don't deviate from it, then you can feel for sure your vibrational relationship to your new expansion. We are wanting to leave it in this place of understanding. We want you to feel the fullness of that which you are and the fullness of that which you are and provide for us. We want you to know that life is supposed to feel good for you. One day Esther was reaching for Jerry and trying to figure out where he is. And she said to him, I, I want to know what it's like for you. What are you thinking and what are you doing and where are you? And as long as she was trying to find him out there in some place she does not understand she couldn't find him that's what made her feel grief she couldn't find him because he's somewhere that she doesn't understand doing stuff she doesn't know or at least she thought and then we helped her to understand and so did he after a while of looking someplace where he is not when she realized that He's not out there doing other things. He's in here doing these things. That this really is the leading edge where the interest of non-physical is. Do you follow that? The interest of non-physical is right here with you on your leading edge. And when Esther looked for him here, she found him. There will never be an energy more interested in what is going on here than Jerry. Feel him. Esther has a friend who sees energy. Esther can feel it. Esther can hear it. This friend sees it. And she describes Jerry as being here with Esther. Sometimes he absorbs right into her. Esther feels that when it happens. She describes him as moving back and forth between Mark and Esther. Mark senses him. Sometimes he comes so fully on the stage, Mark looks, he thinks one of you is running up on the stage. Subtle, non-physical is subtle. You have to train yourself to the subtleness of the energy. But it is our promise to you that when you train yourself to the subtlety of vibration and you translate it consciously through your understanding of emotion, you will then and only then be the whole being that you came here to be, you see. Otherwise, you're out here on this raw and ragged edge, depriving yourself of the fullness of who you are and looking for manifestations to buoy you up. And it is backwards. We've enjoyed this interaction immensely. And we want you to know that there is great love and appreciation here for that which is you. And we want you to know that that which is you and that which is us is not different. We started to say we will leave you, but then that is never true. We want you to know that we see you in the fullness of that which is you. From our perspective, that is within the vortex and that when you reach for the feeling of that which is us you must join us in the vibrational frequency of your vortex and when you do you've established that grid that will fill in with the evidence that you are seeking not just the evidence of dearly departed but the evidence of the dollars that you seek, the evidence of the physical wellness that you seek, the evidence of the clarity that you seek, the evidence of the lover that you seek, the evidence of the opportunities that you seek, the evidence of the deliciousness of life moment by moment, not just a peak experience where you planned for a vacation and off you go, but peak after peak after peak after peak all day long as the convergence of that which is you and you are having conversations with someone that your grid has brought into your experience to revel in the deliciousness of co-creation. It's co-creating at its best. The fairies of the universe converging with you toward what end? This joyful moment and this joyful moment and this joyful moment and this joyful moment 
and this one 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 and this one. There is great love here for you.